He reached Dayton on Tuesday, September 20, 1904. Today, Robert would attempt something never done before in the history of the world. He would fly a power machine in a complete circle. God, in his great mercy, has permitted me to be at least somewhat instrumental in ushering in and introducing to the great wide world an invention that may outrank electric cars, the automobiles, and may fairly take a place beside the telephone and wireless telegraphy. Root would begin his eyewitness account. But before describing what he saw happen, he made a point of stressing that the Wrights were not just the sort who loved machinery, but were interested in the modern developments of science and art. He had been astonished by the extent of their library and to find in conversation that they were thoroughly not only in regard to their present knowledge, but everything that had been done in the past. In saying this in what he wrote, he would be the first to recognize how much more there was to Wilbur and Orville than most imagined, even among the relative few who took time to give it some thought. 